Why do your ears pop when you go up in an airplane? And does it happen in a fighter jet? The answer is yes, it does happen in a fighter jet. And the reason that happens is the change in pressure. Now, if you go and hike a mountain, you won't feel your ears popping because the pressure is changing slowly. If you're driving in a car through Utah and you're going up and down mountains, you might feel your ears pop because of the pressure change, right? Pressure gets lower the higher up you go in altitude. On a commercial airliner, as you start climbing out, there's a pressurization schedule on board the airplane. Every jet engine takes the air from the outside and spins it through the blades. And the first thing it does is compresses that air. And if you imagine up at high altitude, 40,000 feet, the air is very thin. There's very little pressure. So the jet engine compresses the air and then pushes it through the jet engine. Or what it does is it takes some of that air out of that compressor. As you go from large fans all the way down to smaller fans, some of that air comes off the side in a bleed air. And that what we call bleed air goes into the cockpit. It comes out very hot out of there. So it has to be cooled down and then you're able to pressurize the cockpit with that. So on commercial airline, they keep the cockpit pressurized to just a couple thousand feet. Nice and comfortable. Nothing you wouldn't experience if you weren't visiting Denver or some other slightly higher altitude city. But they don't want you to be at the pressure that's at 20,000, 30,000 feet because you would pass out because you just don't get enough oxygen with every breath that you take. And the same is true of a fighter. So yes, you feel your ears popping in a fighter jet and even sometimes a little bit more than in a commercial jet. I hope that answers the question. Hit me up in the comments for more like and follow if you enjoy this content.